So if you're watching this video, you're probably a complete beginner to SMMA or you're probably relatively new. You're only a couple of months in, so maybe six months in or even a year in. As you can see by the title of this video, you should probably quit SMMA. If you haven't seen any results and you've been in SMMA for about six months to a year now, and you've just been doing countless outreach and you've just been sending cold emails, you've been doing cold calls, you've been creating content, you've been doing whatever to sign clients and nothing really seems to work. While I do suggest if you really want to see success to do warmer outreach methods instead of cold outreach, but if you really have been struggling after six months to a year, I think it's probably honestly time to just pack it up and to quit SMMA. This is definitely different advice and non-generic advice you'll hear from other gurus who will tell you to stick with it for years on end. I highly disagree and if you're not seeing any sort of success within six months of trying something, it's really time to just pack it up and go home. And the reason why I can tell you this is because I have nothing to sell you. I don't have a course in SMMA and I don't do it myself anymore. So I feel almost obligated to help those of you who are just starting out to save you a bunch of money and time. There are probably a bunch of reasons why you probably can't sign clients. It's probably your outreach method isn't that good. You're probably relying on cold outreach or probably your script isn't good. But really, you're just not passionate about SMMA. But more importantly, you're just not passionate about helping businesses make more money. And I honestly can't blame you. And that's the reason why I quit SMMA myself, even though I had some success with it. I just frankly couldn't get up every single day to do outreach or to do warmer sources of traffic to even have them come to me and do this consistently and be like, motivated to do this type of work every single day because whether their business succeeded or even flopped i hate to say it i truly didn't care like many of you who even got into smma we probably all did the same thing we watched the same youtube videos we watched iman godzi we watched all these other youtube gurus who just showed us this dream life that comes from doing smma which is possible actually like i don't want to say this is a complete lie but it's marketed as a way that you can do this within three months or six months to live the kind of life that these gurus are living takes three to five years of just non-stop working and working at the highest level meaning you're signing really high clients that are paying really high retainers and you're able to sign them consistently like that's the top tier of smma when you're able to do that consistently that's when you're like at the top of your game and that's when you can officially be called a guru i guess to get to that type of level it takes you to three to five years of having an obsession getting good client results but to be honest you're not really you don't really care about getting clients results right you care about the lambo you care about the wad of cash you care about being on a yacht or or a jet and just like traveling all over the world that's what you care about you don't care about the process that it takes to actually get there and because of that it's very hard for you to continuously keep going every day to do consistent outreach or to run ads or to do whatever it is that it takes honest with yourself when you look up those videos of what niche should i join in do you really care about moving companies do you care about plumbers do you care about auto detailers and getting them and getting them more customers so that their business flourishes and then you'll take a percentage of that like do you really care about them but more importantly do you care about your clients customers meaning Obviously, in order to have an effective marketing strategy, of course, we're all running Facebook ads for local service-based businesses, right? In order to get your clients results, you have to care about their customers. What do their customers care about so that they click on your ad to sign up for your client service? So not only do you have to care about your clients, but you need to understand the pain points that your clients' customers are facing, which no one really ever talks about. So do you really care about people who have a plumbing issue? Do you care about people who need a new coat of wax on their car no right you care about having the dream life but you don't care about the processes that goes into living that dream life how are you supposed to run effective ads for a moving company for example when you don't understand the basics of the moving industry what are the problems that people who move face there are so many different types of moves there's small moves there's big moves I know it sounds kind of funny to talk about moves like this, but like in the sense of a moving company or even in a medical spa, how do pricing strategies work? What are the different services that medical spas offer? What makes your client, what services do they offer right now that are different from everyone else? How can you price them in a way that are, are attractive to their customers? How can you bundle their services to make it like a no brainer offer? These are all things that go into running a, a successful marketing campaign for your clients which gets them customers that's what smma really is you're 
you're like a high level consultant almost, which no one really talks about. And these aren't things that you really care about, right? You think you can send out a few cold calls and a few emails and you'll just sign a client like that and they'll pay you a 2K retainer every month. Do that five times and you have 10K a month. That's what these gurus preach to you, but it's nothing like that at all. So not to ramble on too much, but if getting client results and having an obsessive focus on that for the next three to five years is something that you really don't care about, you're never going to see success. And like I said, within six months or a year of trying this, if you haven't seen any success, that's a really clear indicator that you're in it. Honestly, probably for the lifestyle that it can probably get and not so much about obsessing over client results. I swear if you were to just obsess over for three months to six months on getting clients uh, success, meaning you study the industry in and out, you understand every pain point that their customers and their clients will have that will dictate your outreach, that will dictate your offer, that will dictate the content that you put out by doing all of these things. If you were to really truly understand your to understand the problems that goes on within a specific niche or industry, why wouldn't someone sign with you? If you are literally calling out in an ad, something that is a dying, like a huge problem that these clients are having, and you did this on a consistent basis, there's no way within six months that you wouldn't be able to sign a client. But naturally what people do is they sign up for one niche, then they switch over to another one, then they switch to another one, and they just never see results in it because again, they're looking for the quick money and the quick cash, but nothing fast about this business model at all. And if client results and improving and getting more customers for your clients or whatever service it is that you offer isn't something that you truly passionately care about, you'll never be able to want sign clients, but more importantly, you'll never be able to scale up your SMA. And that's everything in this business. Scaling is everything. And that's the only way to make money that's worth all the effort that you put in into it. And then once you get to that certain level, once you're getting a really high level of clients and you're able to sign them consistently, that's when you're at the top of your game. But there's so much work that goes in before in the sense of you really, really have to care about the work that you're doing. And if you're not and you're not be able to see any results right now, that's a very high chance that it's it's really time for you to pack up the bags and try a different business model. I also made a, a video a little while back called the best business model for beginners. And I basically talk about how those videos are a type of scam because they market SMMA to be a best business model for you or for beginners, but there's no such thing. There's only a best business model for you and getting to 10 K a month in a business that you're not passionate about at all. You'll never get there. And there's so much of work that goes into SMMA and so much of outreach and so much of rejection that you're going to face that you're going to become unmotivated quickly. And if you're a person that doesn't deal with rejection easily, you'll never reach that 10K mark ever. So sticking with something for a year, or two years or three years is a stupid idea because there's no point in continuing with something that you're not passionate about at all. So pick something that you enjoy and something that you're passionate about. And that way you can start seeing results quicker. And once you do that, just start replicating that at a much higher scale. And that's how you get to 10K a month. That's literally the secret to making money online. You pick something that you like or that you have skills in, get some success with it. You'll have some motivation to keep going, keep doing that repeatedly and do that at a bigger scale. And that's how you make 10K a month. And speaking of which, in the next few videos, I'll actually share about what I'm working on right now that w I hope will take me to 10K a month. And I'll, I want to document that entire process because... Um, it's good to show not only your successes, but kind of just show the whole process to show you like the real ins and outs of how to actually make money online and not just show you success stories like most gurus do. Uh, so in the next few videos, I'll definitely kind of show you more insights as to what I'm working on. Didn't want this video to be too long. Again, I think you should probably quit SMMA if it's been like almost six months to a year now and you've seen no success. That's a very high chance that you don't really care about client success. Because if you did, you'd have like probably mastered your industry by now, not mastered, but gotten a really good idea of what problems the people in your niche face. And by doing that, you would have been able to really tailor your outreach and tailor your ads to basically call out those pain points that by now, at least one person should have honestly signed up for your services. So if client results isn't something that you don't care about, um, definitely switch to a different business model. But if it is, uh, watch my other video about the four crucial steps I learned about in, a, in SMMA, which again, I'll tag somewhere in this video, but um, 
I wanted this video to be as honest and transparent as possible. And in the next few ones, I'll document what I'm kind of working on right now to get me to 10K a month. But I think this will be one of my last few SMMA videos that I make. I wanna show you guys what I'm working on now, but that's all that I have for this video. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next few ones that I post. And hopefully you guys can get some inspiration as to what I'm working on, but that's all I have for this video. Peace.